Hey guys, so I am in a tank top because it's like 50 degrees right now and you're probably thinking, wow, you're insane, but no, it's actually very, very nice out and it's warm for us New Englanders, so just give me a break. I'm also wearing more jewelry than normal. It's just one of those kind of days. So basically, I have no makeup on because if you see by the title of this video, I'm assuming that's why you're here, right? It's that we are going to be doing how to not look sick when you are sick. I am not sick right now. However, I do look very pale because it's winter. But anyways, I'm not sick, but I actually thought of this a few weeks ago when I was sick. Basically, I had an attack of the sniffles again a few weeks ago. I literally had to bring my Puffs Plus lotion uh, tissue box to my classes because, you know, the little packets do nothing when you're going through tissues like, you know, like a teenage boy. So, yeah, that was interesting. But I have seen a lot of these kind of videos, um, you know, in my subscription feed and very good for those women that are motivated to put on a full face of makeup when you're sick. Great for you, that's not me. I personally have zero motivation for any kind of makeup when I'm sick, so basically I'm going to show you what I actually in reality did when I was this sick. You know, I could barely get to class, but I was like, well, I want to do something and see what realistically I feel like doing. So I'll show you that and I'll show you a couple things you could also add that are very quick and easy. This whole look will take you like two minutes or less, guaranteed, um, and it's very doable when you are in a rush as well or when you are very sick, but just want to look a little better. The first big thing is concealing. I mean, that's kind of a given. I have some breakouts going on. I would not worry about these when I'm deathly ill. The biggest thing that I would worry about is my under eye circles, and I had recently gotten this L'Oreal CC concealer, and it's really nice for just a little bit of coverage. It's really, like, it has a roller ball that makes it feel really cooling. So this could actually help if you have, like, you know, the headaches around your eyes. And, um, I don't know, I just, I like how it feels and I like how it looks. You know, I, I wear this a lot on its own. I will literally just put this on and go out the door if I just want to conceal a little bit. It's a nice everyday concealer. Look at how brightening that is. So this will... Conceal your dark circles a little bit. You're not going to look like you just put on a full face of makeup, but, you know, it'll conceal slightly, help a little bit, and it'll brighten up the under eye area as well. Now the next thing, which I didn't worry about, but you can conceal your face. So like right now I have just some blemishes going on, and the cool thing, I don't know if you noticed this, is you don't even need brushes. So that's how quick and easy this is. For this complete look, you will need one brush. That is it. Now, a big thing is the redness around the nose. However, I didn't even bother concealing this when I was sick because I was blowing my nose literally every five minutes. I mean, it's crazy when you're really, really stuffy. So if, you're, if you know it's going to come off right away, don't even bother. Who cares, really? They can tell you're sick. They're going to sympathize with you. But um, if it's maybe a cough or something, but, you know, you blow your nose every now and then and it's getting kind of red, concealing is advised. So, you know, just conceal that nose, girl. Again, this is very quick and easy. And I love um, this L'Oreal Super Blendable Crayon Concealer. I've had it for about a year, and it's like I've barely used anything else. It's my favorite, favorite concealer for your face. Just getting a couple more spots, just so they're slightly concealed, you know? I mean, I have a lot of the acne going on right now, like, under my skin, so it's kind of more bumps than it is redness, so I just won't worry about that. So this might take longer than two minutes if you have some acne to conceal, but... Um, you know, it's still very quick. Okay, the other major thing that I actually did when I was really stuffy is curl my lashes and apply mascara. This, again, will help open up your eyes, make you look a little more awake, a little more alive, and it's just really pretty, really easy, and really quick. So I... I'm kind of scared to use this eyelash curler. My eyelash curler broke the other day. I actually have to go to Target and get a new one. It... I was curling my lashes, and the thing that makes it spring back popped off. I'm just so glad it didn't go in my eye. It was very terrifying. Now I'm going to use the Benefit There Real Mascara. It's just a nice little lengthening, separating mascara. I would do my lower lashes. However, I'm not going to. And that's just because my eyes were really watery that day. They usually are when you have a cold, right? So, again, 
I don't want to deal with smudging and running mascara. I'm already sick enough. I have enough to deal with when I'm sick and have work and school. I mean, you know. Now this is also very easy. I just didn't do this because I was drinking a lot of water, but I mean, this is very easy. Take a neutral lip color, something that's moisturizing and will last like the Revlon Just Bit and Kissable Balm Stains. Apply this real quick. It's your lips, but better. They're moisturizing chapped lips and it just looks a little better. An added bonus, again, something that I don't really worry about is just putting a little blush on because you concealed, you look a little even paler, more dead, so just bring a little color back into your face. I'm using my favorite blush that I actually haven't used in a while. It's the Tickled Pink Elf Blush. And this is the only part you'll need the brush for. So just get your favorite blush, your favorite blush brush. Something not too dramatic or sparkly, you just want it to be like a natural kind of flush, so again, you don't really look dead. Don't get it too close to your nose, though, because if you get it closer to your nose, your nose will look pinker and redder, and that's what we're trying to avoid here. And real quick, I completely forgot about a step that I actually did, too. Um, I'm going to use the Painterly Paint Pot from MAC. This will conceal my, you know, darker, shinier eyelids to just, again, make it look like I'm less sick. And the cool thing is, this is like a shadow in itself, so you don't even need to put anything over it. It'll set by itself, and it looks completely natural. Usually I would do that before mascara, but I forgot. <laughs> so that's the complete look, guys. That is literally the most I would probably ever do when I am actually very sick. But I hope you can see a big difference. I definitely do. Um, my eyes just, it looks better below and above my actual eyes. You know, they just look healthier and happier and more awake. And then, you know, I brought some life back into my skin with the blush. The lips, very easy, very simple. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this and it was helpful. Please give it a big thumbs up if you did enjoy it and you think that you could manage something like this when you are sick, because I know I definitely would not do any more than this when I'm deathly ill. When my nose is running, when I'm sneezing, um, you know, have a, mi a terrible migraine or even worse, vomiting, God forbid, whatever's going on. Looking glamorous is your the least of your worries, so just drink lots of water, rest when you can, and get well soon. So I hope you guys are doing well and you're not terribly sick and you don't have the flu or anything bad like that. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will see you in my next video. Bye!